Hi, welcome back. Now in this segment, I'm going to be demonstrating how to make the swim pants. Once you have printed out and assembled your swim pants pattern, you're going to put it on your fabric much in the same way that you put your swim dress on. Again, we have four layers of fabric. We have our selvage here, we have a fold here, and then we have a double fold right here. Now we're going to lay our pattern out with this against our fold. See it says place on fold, do not cut, right here. So we are going to cut right here, here, and all the way over to here and stop. We're not going to cut along this line. We're also going to cut out our swim pants center. Now this can easily be cut out of scrap material. Also, the lining, and again, it can be cut out of scrap material. This is the only piece that you're going to line for the swim pants. So let's cut our piece out. Now here are the pieces we're going to need for this project. Here's one leg, the other leg, the swim pants center of the primary material, and then the lining. I want you to notice, now the shorter part is actually the leg. Okay. This deep curve and this coming all the way up here, this is the rise. This is what I'm going to do, I'm going to put a pin in this so I remember which is up, which side is up. And I'm going to put it in the other one also. So now we've put a pin on the top because if you don't, you're going to get confused at some point. The very first thing we're going to need to do is to stitch our leg seam, called our inseam. So we're going to fold both of our pieces over and we're going to lay them right sides together. That's the pretty side against the pretty side. All right. We are going to take our pins and we are going to pin that beginning right at the center and going all the way down the leg. And we're going to do the same thing on both legs. All right, now we're going to take this to the sewing machine and we are going to zigzag stitch right along here at 5 eighths inch. Then we're going to come back and we're going to do it all again to reinforce that seam. Now, if you've taken our 12-week course, you would know that a piece like this, starting at the edge, will easily be eaten by your machine. So you can either start in further, or you can abut a piece of fabric, which means you put another piece of fabric right next to this and you begin sewing on that piece of fabric. For this demonstration, we're starting further in. All right, now here are your zigzag inseams. Now the next thing we're going to do is work on our centerpiece. We're going to take the two pieces and we're going to lay them on top of each other. Now, note, these are not right sides together. The right side is out and I'm laying them just like this. What we're going to do is zigzag stitch all the way around these two pieces to secure them together. So let's pin them in place and then we'll take it to the machine. Now remember, the right side is out this time. And we're just going to simply zigzag all the way around the raw edge of these two pieces, securing them to each other. All right, now when I get to the end of the piece like this, I'm going to raise my presser foot and I'm going to just pivot the piece with the needle down. Lower my presser foot again and continue sewing. Now both my pieces are right side out and I've taken my center piece and I have centered it right over that inseam. To do that, I have opened up this seam right here as you can see 
and I have pinned my piece right on top of that. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin this piece just like this to one of the legs. Doesn't really matter which one. All right, now here we have it. I have pinned this on, centering that on the seam. And remember, your polka dots are together now. So I'm going to take this to the sewing machine, and I am going to start right at the tip here. In fact, I'm going to pin that up too. Pin that on also. And I'm going to zigzag stitch right along this edge on the inside of the previous zigzag stitch. So in other words, I'm going to start here and I'm going to go right along the inside of that previous zigzag stitch, securing this piece to your pant leg. raise that presser foot to get some of these pins off. Now again, make sure you let the feed dogs do all the work. It's very tempting to get in the way and to push and pull or tug, but you don't want to do that because you'll end up with puckering. As you can see, I stitched inside this first line. Okay, now what I'm going to do, I'm going to bring my scissors and I'm going to trim off this little tail here, just like that. All right, now I'm going to attach the other leg. To do that, I'm going to keep this side inside out and this side right side out, and I'm going to put the right side out inside here, just like this. So in other words, we have, once again, right sides together. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to center the seam right here, making sure that it's basically in the same place as on the other leg. So I'm going to center the seam and I'm going to pin that to the center piece. Of course, I'm going to open the seam in order to do that. All right, and now I'm going to finish pinning all the way up the front and the back of the rise. All right, now I've pinned all the way around. Now I'm going to take this to the sewing machine and I'm going to zigzag stitch right along this seam. And I'm going to double that because that is a very popular seam to rip out. So I'm going to zigzag stitch it two times. All right, I'm stitching this at 5 8 inch seam allowance. As always, starting in needle down position and locking that stitch. I pivot just slightly here. Okay, I'm going to cut the tail.
Now as you can see, the inside of our pants are finished. We have our centerpiece here for a lining. And the next thing we're going to do is to put in an elastic casing up here for the waist. Now we're using 3 quarter inch no roll elastic. So to make our casing the right size, we're going to add a quarter inch to each side of that. So we're going to make our casing one and a quarter inches all the way around. We're going to pin it in place all the way around and when we come to a seam, please open the seam and pin on each side. Now you're going to need enough elastic to comfortably go around the intended wearer's waist. If you know, for example, that your, the intended wearer is, has a waist size of 22 inches, you'll need to cut your elastic one and a half inch shorter than that. So, cut your elastic to 20 and one half inches. That will allow for the stretchiness of the elastic and one half inch for an overlap. Now we are going to zigzag stitch all the way along this raw edge and we are going to leave one and a half inches, about that much, open in order for us to insert the elastic. Now remember, we're able to stitch along this raw edge because this kind of fabric does not fray, so we're able to leave it raw. Again, be careful not to push or pull your fabric or you're going to end up with a warp waistband. Alright, now that I've stitched my casing all the way around and left one, about one and a half inches of an opening here to insert my elastic, I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pin my elastic just like this on one end to this seam right here on my pants. I'm going to take another pin, safety pin, and I'm going to attach it to the other end and I'm going to insert it into this hole. I'm going to insert it into this hole and I'm going to push and kind of work it, pull, push and pull, and this is how I'm going to feed my elastic all the way through this casing. I feel with this hand, I feel the safety pin, and then I pull the fabric over the pin and the elastic with this hand. And here it is, I've pulled it out the other end. Now I have both pieces coming out that hole, and I'm going to feel around and make sure my elastic is not twisted anywhere. I'm going to take the safety pins off now and I'm going to pull this elastic out overlapping about a half an inch. I'm going to pull it out of the casing and I'm going to pin it and I'm going to take it to the machine and I'm going to zigzag stitch back and forth several times to secure this. Now I'm going to zigzag stitch forward and backward several times. Now don't be surprised if this ends up messy on the other side. Sewing machines often do not like elastic. Now here is our elastic stitched to itself. I'm going to pull it now so that it'll slip back inside the casing. Now I'm going to take this back to the sewing machine and I'm going to stitch this area closed. Alright, again I start in needle down position and I stitch forward and backward because we want that nice and secure. stitching that close and again at the end backwards and forwards to stitch that nice and securely. Here it is. Now I've stitched that area closed and the last thing we need to do now is to put the hem in our shorts. Now like the skirt, to hem these I'm going to turn them up one half inch, pin them in place and zigzag stitch right along this raw edge. Okay, I have again pinned this seam open so that I'll stitch over it nicely.
All right, now I've stitched my hem all the way around, and notice I opened up my seam and stitched, and that's going to reduce the bulk in that area. Now it's time to turn our pants right side out and see our finished product. And here they are, these adorable swim pants. Thank you.